What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here to review a short film that I watched last night on Netflix called Two Distant Strangers. Now, this short film, Two Distant Strangers, is an Academy Award nominated film. It was written by comedian Trayvon Free, and it was co-directed with Trayvon Free by Martin Desmond. All right. Now, it stars rapper Joey Badass as Carter James, a graphic designer. He's had a night out with this chick. She's, he comes, spends the night, has a little romance with her, spends the night at her house, wakes up at her house, and he's trying to slip on out. They have a conversation. You know, things are going pretty good. He tells her, listen, sweetie, I got to get home to my dog, Jeter. So as he's leaving her apartment, beautiful apartment, by the way, and she's a beautiful girl, by the way, as he's leaving her apartment, you know, this is all starting off like a little romantic comedy or romantic drama. Eh, that's not what this is. So as he's leaving her apartment, um, he goes, he steps outside the building. He takes out a cigarette to smoke. And um, as he's doing that, he gets confronted by a police officer who's doing a routine stop or whatever. And drama ensues right there. What starts off as a routine stop and frisk, question, whatever you want to call it, gets out of hand. They have the um, next, you know, Carter's on the ground. He's telling the man he can't breathe. Other officers come and Carter dies. There's a woman uh, holding a phone up at the concession stand. She's saying he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. And he dies. All right. So I'm like, wow. Okay, that's where we going with this. And wakes up, he's back in bed. So, oh, this is one of those time loop things. This is a time loop story like Groundhog Day. Y'all remember Groundhog Day? And I know some other films have done it too. I think Happy Death Day and other things like that uh, where they just keep um, repeating the story, repeating the story. So this is, Groundhog Day was the most popular one to do it. So that's why I referenced that one. And... That was a really good film. And that was a comedy, though. This ain't no comedy, y'all. So he just keeps repeating. Yes. He keeps repeating this same day where he's leaving Perry's home, trying to get to his dog, and he's getting killed by the police. This was very... I was like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was clever twist, but a little bit like, damn, I, I wasn't expecting that. And so we see him... New, make numerous attempts to change the course of this day and he still gets killed by the police and what i noticed is each time he's killed is a different way but it mirrors actual real life incidents unfortunate incidents tragedies where people were killed at the hands of the police by um, being shot up their home being raided uh you know Stuff like that. So it, it mirrors a lot of the real life tragedies such as Eric Gardner, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor. And that can be very triggering, very triggering. It's a lot of trauma. And so Carter knows he's in a loop and he tells Perry about this. And he's like trying to get out of this loop, trying to get home to his dog without being killed in it. Every time he's killed, he goes right, it starts right back with him in the bed with her and him trying again. I will say this. I'm glad this was a short film. It was only like 29 minutes because if I had to sit through two hours of this, I don't know if I would have made it because it was just a little too much for me. It's a little too much. Just a little too much. Um, Carter even has a conversation with the officer who kills him and tells this officer, listen, it's a time loop. That's going to happen at that time. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. And you're going to kill me. They have this conversation. He explains anything, they, everything to him. They have a conversation about race and the relationship between the black community and the police. And, you know, I'm like, okay, this is going somewhere. It's getting somewhere. And he still gets killed. Still, it was like no matter what he did, he still got killed by the police. Now, I'm sitting here rooting for Carter. I want him to escape. I'm thinking we're going to get a resolution. Eh, that's not what we get here. He gets killed 100 times 
or 99 times, something like that. And he says it to the girl, I've been killed 99 times, but I got to find a way to get through this. And I'm saying to myself, okay, so what is the point of this film? <laughs> Basically, I was like, because now I'm getting upset because I wanted him to escape. And that's not what's, what's happening here. So I said to myself, what is the message they're trying to convey? So this is my interpretation of what the message is. Carter represents the black community. And Carter is basic. They're basically saying that the black community has to deal with this and has a fear of being killed by the cops on a daily basis. And that this is a struggle in our community this relationship with the, the police. That's what I took from it. And the fact that with um, Carter says, you know what, I'm gonna get home to my dog. I guess he's saying, listen, this we can try a hundred ways to escape this, but we cannot escape this. It's always gonna happen. So I'm basically guessing what they're, what they're saying here is, the answer here is, they didn't give an answer. They left it open for our interpretation. So this is my interpretation. I'm saying they're basically saying, listen, we're shedding light on this. Something needs to be done because no matter what you do, that is the tragic outcome. So what did you guys think? I enjoyed it. Um, I have one of my friends call me and they didn't like it. They thought that the film was very triggering and that it was, they called it trauma porn, that it was just playing on our hearts and that what was the point. But I think they left it the way they did so we could think and have these discussions. So tell me guys, what did you think about this film? Did you think it was trauma porn? Did you think it was triggering? I did, I was a little triggered, but I think that it was thought provoking at the same time. I think they wanted us to you know, they were trying to shed light on something at, at the same time. Like, listen, this stuff is happening, but it didn't have an answer for it. It did not have an answer. So come on, leave me some comments down. Respectful comments. Let's be nice to each other. Leave some comments down below. Tell me your thoughts. If you've seen this film, did you like it? Um, <clears throat> did you want a different outcome with the ending? Um, tell me your thoughts. I, I enjoyed it. it was like I said I'm for a short film I enjoyed it that was enough time for that but if this was two hours I don't know if I could have sat through two hours of that type of watching someone just get killed over and over and over and over again but yeah that's all I have I don't want to ramble tell me your thoughts on this film please like comment and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video